Hello there. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you are not. So I'm editing this and I just wanted to point out that I'm not crying. It looks like I've been crying. I'm just violently hung over in this clip and I didn't realize that my mascara was smudged or last night's mascara was smudged all over my face. So that's it. It's been a while since we've been out and about. Um, everything we've been doing has been inside the house for a long while, but it is my favorite time of the renovation and that is when we actually leave the house to go buy some stuff. Um, today we are taking a visit to B&Q and Ikea. We've got our carpet samples and that is because we are making some final decisions on the color for all of the hallways. And we're getting these carpets fitted, basically ace up in all of upstairs. We're then going to head to Ikea to get some stuff for our cupboards. We want to get those wardrobes all fully done and good to go. So yeah, this video, lots of different things happening, lots of final touches. Cannot wait. Tom's very patiently not started driving so that this wouldn't have shaky footage. So let's get going. After this, we can start. You might have seen in those clips that we did have a carpet with us and we have ultimately made a decision on a carpet. Let me talk you through that first. So here are our final carpet choices. We have been pestering our friends a little bit with many different carpet pictures <laughs> and all of us have settled on this middle one here, number two. We ended up not going with any of the kind of major carpet places like Carpet Right and stuff like that because we found them to be either super expensive for the same carpet we're going for or their kind of lower end or cheaper range carpets were quite terrible or like really bad quality, really, really thin. So once again, Martin came to the rescue. Uh, Martin built Tom and their family house about 15 years ago and he very luckily remembered the place that he got his carpets. So they're either called LTC Carpets or Carpet Sense in Basildon. They, it's two places by the same name. Uh, we found them, yeah, to be really, really affordable, great service. The carpets can be ready literally two hours after we order them. And they have a whole range of carpet fitters um, who were even free to fit, you know, super close to Christmas. So it's all great news. Sorry, I also completely forgot to say, and probably the biggest reason that we went for number two is because it does have a hint of gray. It's this one over here. So it's definitely a beige, but there's a lot of gray speckles and undertones. So in terms of suiting the different rooms, like the black wall, but the kind of beige grayish entryway, um, or not entryway, landing on the second floor. I, yeah, I think this is going to work really, really well. And it's definitely the darkest I'm willing to go, which is great for looking clean um, and hiding stains. So I think I'm happy with this. So we were running around the shops with a spare black spindle and that carpet because the carpets are going down pretty damn soon. And once the spindles were in and I saw our carpet sample, I realized that I think our hallways are a little bit boring. They're a little bit cold. The paint whites definitely got a little bit of a blue tint. And I definitely want something a little bit warmer, a little bit, I don't know, more textured feeling. Um, I don't even know if that's an interior design term. It probably is not, but that's what my head is telling me. So we went and we picked up some paint samples. Now, I told you this in our house uh, renovation video, as in the front of the house painting it, that we fell in love with the Farrow and Ball color, but we couldn't find Farrow and Ball exterior paint in the color that we needed. And we were in B&Q and I found out about Valspar and Velspa is effectively a B&Q, I think, paint company that can match any sort of paint color that you want. And they did really affordable exterior paint, otherwise known as masonry paint. And so we just bit the bullet and we used them for a sample. Now, I was on an Instagram the other day, I believe it's called Home at 17. I'll pop the account over here and in the bio. And I loved the color that they were painting their kitchen. So I wrote them a message, asked what the color was, 
and they explained that it was this skimming stone. Now skimming stone is a pharaoh and ball colour and uh, as I've repeated many many times we're on a budget and the fact that the hallway alone would use about three pots of pharaoh and ball paint which would come to about 160 170 pounds and the same amount of Velspar would be 40 pounds um, we're probably going to go with Velspar. If we were just renovating one or two rooms, maybe I'd push the boat out, but considering we have to buy an entire kitchen next month, uh, we're counting the pennies wherever possible. But before I make such a decision, I'm going to do a little bit of a science experiment. Now, I've got an actual Farrow and Ball skimming stone sample, and I've got the exact same thing from Velspar. Now I'm going to check number one the colour because they say it's a 99% match which you know is absolutely fine by me however I do want to check the finish and the quality so I'm going to test both of these samples get them on the wall let them dry and hopefully I'm impressed and I don't have to spend an extra 120 pounds on paint but we'll see pretty soon. So for our test we've got the Velspar here, Farrow and Ball there just going to let those dry and we will decide. Already I think the colours pretty similar. Um, the Valspar one was painted beforehand so it's had a little bit longer to dry but I think there's a slight more grey undertone in the Farrow and Ball, um, this one over here, and then a slightly more kind of beige in that one. I will admit I prefer the colour of the Farrow and Ball but whether I prefer it enough to pay the price I don't know yet. Here's the carpet and the wall and then let me <laughs> Zoom back to see the carpet, the wall, and the banisters. Yeah, love that. I think it looks so good. I am so ready to be done with all of the skirting and architraves. And this is the final, final job. It has been attached by one terrible carpenter and then one great carpenter. It has been filled, it has been sanded, it has been primed, and now we can finish strong with painting it. We have decided on our carpets. So now that we know the carpets that we want, we can actually get them installed in all of the upstairs. But a uh, final job, paint the skirting boards, as yeah, we don't want to be getting paint on a brand new carpet. Let's go. the black paint and roller in the fridge in cling film for over a week now so I'm gonna see if this is still usable as I mentioned with this kind of wood paint or any oil based paint it's just it destroys a brush every time I use it I've soaked it in spirits I've done everything I'm told to do um, for some reason I just can't save brushes so this is the next best thing I want to get this done because I refuse to use another pair of paint brushes I feel like I'm burning the planet every time I have to throw a paint brush away so we just got to get it done then. floor that need to be dealt with, uh, which I am going to be doing today, but first, some lunch. Okay, so lunch. Please ignore the hot water running in the background. I know it's an awful waste. Tom's trying to work something out with the boiler, but we've got leftovers, but it was 
so good. I want to tell you what we made. So first up, we've got veg. Inside the veg, we have got tender stem broccoli, baby corn, pak choy, chili, garlic, ginger, and bamboo shoots. Then just got some tofu, which we did in sesame oil, corn flour, and a little bit of soy sauce, salt and pepper. And then the sauce, which is basically just sesame oil, rice vinegar, soy sauce, and peanut butter. Looks kind of disgusting, but when it goes on heat, the peanut butter melts in and it becomes uh, less like vomit. Then we're gonna boil up some rice noodles and I've got some spring onion, lime, and coriander to garnish. <laughs> later the staircase is back this job has been haunting me since I tried to do it probably on our first week of renovating the house we started with the wallpaper and then I moved on to here so yeah probably month one um, I started to tackle this and I couldn't I spoke through in a recent video the many many different ways I approached it none of them worked but what we did find to be relatively effective was the heat gun. Now that all the other stairs are installed, all the other handrails, all the other spindles, this is literally the very last piece of the puzzle that's stopping us from painting a lot and forgetting about it forever. So the time has come for me to actually finish the job. Now Tom has very kindly searched the internet for a mask that is somewhat effective against lead paint. So we're being a little bit smarter about it this time no more lightheadedness after 10 minutes of doing it, and I am not gonna stop until this is done. I think they're looking pretty good. Pretty stripped, if I do say so myself. There's definitely some nooks and crannies, which I might go in and sand again tomorrow, but sometimes you need to know when to call it, I think. I had to give it a few days and wait until we weren't doing any jobs that involved taking up floorboards, chopping wood, etc. because when we did a coat of black on the handrails the other day, we then took up the carpets and I forgot how long this paint takes to dry and the dust has stuck to the paint. So not only do I need to do the newel posts that we stripped and sanded the other day and primed, but I, there's a few areas I need to do another coat on. Um, but look, you've, uh, you've watched us paint skirting, architraves, etc. for long enough now. Let's do one final sprint. Screw it, there's only one thing to do and that's to get it done. Am I in podcast or music mood? I think I have to, I've got to have music for this one. Done. I think the stairs are done. I'm still a little bit uncertain about the texture of the newel post and how that's going to show through. Uh, the paint is very, very glossy when it goes on, but it does dry more matte. So I'm just going to give it some time, see how that dries, and then I'll make a call. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying make a call then. There's no way I'm removing any of this stuff. So however it dries is gonna stay, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how it does. But yeah, now we've done everything we need to do. And the next time I see you, we're gonna have some carpets, but you don't have to wait. So about those carpets. We've uh, screwed up. The carpet guys arrived today to lay the carpets. 
And the bedroom was mismeasured. And when I say was mismeasured, Tom and I mismeasured it. I don't know how we did this. I think it was a typo, but the room is 3.51 wide. And for some reason on our notes, it says 3.11 wide. I think we just typed it wrong. So the carpet guys very, very kindly have not charged us for laying the carpet in this room. They lay the carpet wherever they could. They're gonna use this roll of carpet to do the study downstairs. And the company that we bought the carpet from, they noticed on the invoice and they can actually get a better price. So they're gonna buy the new carpet and all the rest of our downstairs carpet at a better price. So that's pretty good going. However, yeah, I lied to you. I said you wouldn't have to wait and you do have to wait. Although actually there is one room that's had the carpet laid. You can see just through there, the dressing room actually has some carpet. And this is such a good feeling. So yeah, didn't quite go as we expected, but the carpet's down in one room. They're coming back on Monday, today's Friday. So we just have to wait one little weekend and then the carpets will be down. So I'm sorry for misleading you. I promise you the beginning of next episode, you will see the carpets. And um, also us begin to finish our dressing room and our bedroom, which is so, so exciting. It means we can move upstairs. We've got a bathroom, a bedroom, a dressing room, all carpeted, all clean, a little bit of normality. I know I've been saying we want normality for six months, or I think with every complete job, I think we're gonna find normality and we never do, but Again, it's a learning process. Anyway, that's it for this week. I did just wanna say the one year renovation video did go up a couple of days ago, and I just wanna say thank you so much for all the kind comments. For everyone who stuck along all of this time, I know I said it in the last video, but yeah, the response to that video has been really, really nice, and it's just really cool to know how many people are following along, doing your own renovations, uh, struggling along with us, and yeah, that is it for this week. I'll catch you in the next video. I'll show you some carpets, I swear on my life. Yep, I do swear on my life. Um, and I'll catch you next Wednesday. Goodbye.